In this video, we will learn about how to create a three-dimensional model of the snap gauge, which is shown in this diagram. Here, all the dimensions given are in mm. So let's try to make the profiles in mm and let's try to extrude it for a thickness of 50 mm. Okay. Let's go for the on shape to create the three-dimensional drawing. Click on create, select the document, rename the document as snap gauge, click on create. Here the profile is in the front view and we are going to extrude it for a thickness of or depth of 50 mm. Okay. So let's try to draw this profile. Select the front plane and click on sketch. Right click on the mouse. Select view normal to sketch plane. First, let us try to draw a rectangle over here and then let's try to change the feature. So the rectangle of size 130 and the height is 60. So let's try to draw a corner rectangle. So this size, it is highlighted now. The size is 130 and the vertical height is 60. So here it is 130 and the vertical height is 60. Let's come out of the command by pressing escape. Now let's try to draw this arc. Okay. Let's try to draw this arc, which is of radius 40. So for drawing that arc, you can select that tangent arc. So while selecting the tangent arc, select the line and then click on the horizontal line for the second point. So here the radius is 40. So change the value to 40. Press escape button to come out of the command. So here the radius is 40. So it is automatically providing you the center point for the circle. So let's draw this circle and provide the dimension as 45 mm for diameter. So let's draw the circle and provide the dimension as 45. Okay. Now let's try to make this arc by using a feature or uh, called fillet. So this radius is 10 and this radius is 10. So let's try to provide the radiuses. So for that, you can choose the sketch fillet and select the corner in which you want to apply the radius. So here automatically it is providing you the radius default radius here it is 5 so you can see my mouse it is showing the mouse button with the green tick mark on the left okay so click on the left mouse button it will ask you to change if you want to provide the radius if you want to change the radius from 5 millimeters to some other you can change it now let's change the value to 10 now it has changed. Still the command is active. So whenever you click on any other corner, it will automatically constrain that corner to the radius of 10 mm. So let's change this corner to 10 mm. So it is not able to change it first. Let's try to cut this one so that it will come as a corner. Okay. 
so let's trim the line over here and then now let's try to change the fillet so fillet for this corner is now 10 let's apply it okay now this height is 60 defaultly it is 60 available over here here the center is not at fixed that's why because uh, it is the line is deleted so that's why it is not at fixed okay so if you want to fix then select the dimension and provide the distance as 40 okay so it is here and make sure this center and this center is at the same horizontal line let's try to apply this to our horizontal yes it is right Let's try to select all the three are in horizontal. Yes. Now it becomes the black color. So since you have changed that uh, corner to the radius, so uh, it may think that you have changed the point coincide and point of this one with the center. So if I made the two points are in the same horizontal line. So now it is assuming that this point is tangential to this line. So now it becomes a fully constrained sketch. Now let's try to draw this portion. So here the gap actually it is not provided. So let me assume the gap is 10. Okay. So here it is not provided. So let me let me assume sorry it is uh, let me assume it as uh, 15 okay so let me assume it as 15 so here let's try to draw a rectangle the rectangle dimension is 40 in the horizontal direction it's 40 and in vertical direction it is 15 since the vertical height is also not provided let me assume that it is on the center so the total height it is 60 so 15 is there so remaining is 45 so let me assume that it is at half distances from this two. so 22.5 let me assume so from here to here it is 22.5 so it is on the center this line is not available so let's try to trim it the horizontal dimension is 40 Actually, this line is vertical. Okay, so it is assuming that that line is not vertical. So let me make sure that it is vertical. So it is 40 and it is 15. So now we have completed the profile. Here it's in the form of chamfer. Let's try to create this chamfer after making the extrusion. So it is easier to make the chamfering 
after creating the three dimensional drawing let's try to confirm the sketch so here and extrude select the extrude and change the select the face and sketch regions to extrude as this face change the depth as 50 mm and confirm it so now we have completed the three dimensional drawing except this chamfer so they have provided that the chamfer is a 45 degree and 5 mm that means the distances from this corner is equal 5 and 5 on both sides so let's select the chamfer let's try to identify where it is you can see here it's a chamfer entities to chamfer is this particular edge and this particular edge select the two edges which you want to chamfer and i am selecting the chamfer type as equal distance and the distance is 5 mm so you can see over here this is a distance of 5 mm okay so from here it is 5 mm and from here it is 5 mm so that is a distance and we have selected equal distances from the corner in which you want to chamfer it so let's confirm the chamfer now we have completed the entire 3d thank you for watching